Hello and welcome. I'm Chandi Moinage from Cybernet Systems. Uh, during today's webinar, we will show you how companies around the world, especially uh, the manufacturing companies, are using augmented reality applications to remotely manage their plants and enable their workers. Sometimes back, people may have wondered, even struggled with the thought of adopting digital transformation in manufacturing. But today, it's no longer a problem. Products like PTC Vuforia has made it absolutely possible by offering industrial IoT and AR-based remote assistance applications that can transform your workplaces like never before. Before we dive into the main topic, let me quickly introduce our company. Cybernet Malaysia is a fully owned subsidiary of Cybernet Systems Company Limited headquartered in Tokyo, Japan, uh, which was established in 1985, that is more than three decades ago. We have sales subsidiaries also in China and Taiwan. Uh, if you are familiar with Sigmetrix, MapleSoft and Noises Solutions, those companies are also a part of the Cybernet group. We are predominantly a CA company that is uh, computer-aided engineering, simulation and optimization, etc. However, uh, several years back, Cybernet has also started proposing solutions that combine CAE with AR and VR in emerging technology areas such as the IoT, digital twins, big data analysis, and uh, the AI. This is when we also partnered with PTC. PTC probably has the best solutions out there for industrial IoT and AR design. Cybernet Systems Malaysia supports customers in the ASEAN region. Uh, we are an authorized reseller and a technical support provider for Thingworks, Euphoria Chalk, and Euphoria Studio products in Malaysia. Cybernet Systems Malaysia is also a channel partner of ANSYS in the ASEAN region. We specialize in CA solutions, digital transformation, and we also provide engineering services, training, and consultation in those domains. This presentation was originally made by the DX Solutions Division at Cybernet Systems Japan. With that introduction, let's move on to our main topics for today. Uh, please don't forget to send all your questions in the chat so we can send you answers later on. Here is our agenda for the day. We will briefly discuss the fundamentals of AR and VR, its role in manufacturing, and then move on to more details with a lot of real-world examples. This is to give you an idea about Cybernet Systems capabilities. As you can see, our core strength is CAE, but we also offer a wide range of solutions for digital transformation, IT security solutions, and engineering services, including professional services for model-based system engineering. So let's first try to understand a little bit about what is VR and what is AR. As you already know, VR or virtual reality mimics the real world feelings using 3D imagery. Viewers can immerse into a virtual space using special glasses or head mounted displays. VR has already taken off in many applications. It's being used not only for entertaining purpose, but also for scientific visualization and in manufacturing. This is a timeline to show uh, how VR progressed in the Japanese market. You can see that the first head mounted display was already out in 1960s, but a lot of people actually started using it probably after the second VR boom that happened around 2010. VR applications developed faster since then. There are several devices that are popular in the market such as HTC Vive, Oculus and Rift and Google Cardboard, of course. VR display devices have evolved with time. Modern display units have a wider field of angle to provide close to real world immersive experience and to display more details. It's higher resolution, wireless, and even lightweight compared to its predecessors. They have also become more affordable with time. With that little introduction, let's now move on to see some of the examples to understand how VR is actually being used in manufacturing. Now the following videos are actually in Japanese, but it's pretty easy to understand the concept just by watching them. 
バーチャルデザインレビューは独自の方式により低コストでありながら高い操作性を実現しました柔軟かつ気軽に設計レビューができお客様のものづくりを強力にバックアップバーチャルデザインレビューは 3DCAD データをそのまま VR 空間に投影するため事前の準備作業が不要ですまた手順確認のために CAD で作ったアニメーションも変換することなく VR 空間で再生させることができます複数人が同時にレビューできますもちろん遠隔地からの参加も可能 VR の無限の可能性を追求し続けてきたサイバネットシステムのノウハウをすべて注ぎ込んだバーチャルデザインレビュー。さまざまな業界に柔軟に対応し、お客様の形にしたいという思いにしっかりとお応えします。よくできましたでは次の矢印のポイントへ移動しましょう通路が狭いので安全運転で行きましょう危ない AR is another step forward from VR. It's a technology that augments human vision by superimposing digital information, such as computer graphics, images, video, and even text on top of real space. By utilizing this technology, it's possible to add positional relationships in real space to information to make them visually appealing, making it possible to present content that is intuitively easy for users to understand. AR of course stands for augmented reality, but many of you might recall the term AR for its uh, association with the video games such as Pokemon Go. Once again, this timeline shows the AR adaptation in Japan. Commercialization of AR starts from around 2009. If you recall from our previous slides, that's just about the same time when the second boom of VR happened in Japan. There are various types of modern AR display devices. When selecting an AR display device, depending on the target application, content, and environment, it may be necessary to consider various factors such as the hands free operation, ease of operation, design, and even the price. Let's look at some of the examples where AR is being used in different environments. Let's see a demonstration of a typical AR application using a smartphone. Now, this video was actually taken at the Cybernet Systems、uh, head office in Tokyo, Japan. In the first two examples, video and 3D animations are displayed at the markers by image recognition. This type of technology is widely used in the advertising industry and elsewhere to show additional information by holding a smartphone over posters, product packaging, or even billboards, etc. In the latter example, the 3D animation is displayed by recognizing horizontal surfaces such as、uh, floors and walls. This horizontal plane recognition technology is also called markerless AR, which allows users to enjoy AR contents without setting markers in advance. And it's increasingly being used on online shopping sites such as to show furniture and other products in their actual size and in the environment they are meant to be used. This is a simplified explanation about how marker based AR applications work. 
Once the camera detects the marker, it calculates the distance and angle of view while tracking the marker at the same time. Then it superimposes the information to match those calculations. There are various technologies for aligning the real space with the computer graphics or other objects that are superimposed on the real space. For example, the ID marker recognition using a QR codes or dedicated AR markers. 2D image recognition that recognizes the image itself such as photograph or an illustration. Plane recognition detects a horizontal surfaces uh, such as floors and tables and vertical surfaces such as walls. 3D object recognition that recognizes the shape of the object itself. The best recognition method can be selected according to the target of the AR display such as a scene from the real world, the shape of a large building or even inside a room. Various AR target recognition technologies like this can be easily used for in-house application development by utilizing middleware such as Wikitude SDK and Vuforia Engine, which are well-proven AR development libraries for various operating systems. Next, uh, let's take a look at the demonstration of object recognition. There are two types of object recognition methods. Image-based object recognition, which recognizes three-dimensional objects based on image data, and model-based object recognition, which recognizes three-dimensional objects based on shape data. This video is an example of image-based object recognition. Image-based object recognition recognizes objects based on point cloud data created by photographing target objects from various angles. The tallest mountain in Japan and probably one of the most popular mountains in the world, Mount Fuji, and the information of its aid stations are superimposed on a model of the mountain in this example. Here is an example of AR display using model-based object recognition. Since this technology can recognize the shape data itself, it is attracting attention as a way to utilize CAD data assets in the manufacturing industry. By utilizing this technology, it's possible to display AR content in alignment with the position of objects where markers cannot be placed in advance. All right, now let's take a look at how AR is actually being used in the manufacturing industry. This is where it's going to get very interesting for those who are in manufacturing. While various advanced efforts are being made by various companies, the most advanced practical application in manufacturing are um, AR remote assistance, which um, combines AR functionality with video calls to remote locations and AR work instructions that replaces conventional paper manuals with the display of uh, digital information through AR. Let's first look at the use case of AR remote assistance by watching another short video. There are many use case scenarios for AR remote assistance. Conventional video call applications such as Zoom and Skype are generally used to call each other while looking at their faces. But AR remote support applications are used in such a way where a worker in the field provides advice to a skilled worker in a remote location while showing an image of the equipment to be operated or an operational panel. In addition to the video and voice communication functions in usual video calls, this system features a function called AR annotation, which allows the skilled worker to easily draw uh, circles and arrows on the screen using their fingers to indicate to other workers on remote sites about the buttons to be operated or the location of instruments to be inspected. 
even for tasks that would require repeated information uh, with verbal instructions, the visual appeal of this system makes it possible to communicate smoothly as if a skilled person were present to provide on-site assistance, thereby reducing work time and operational errors. Nowadays, this solution is becoming more and more popular because as we know, many people still cannot travel freely due to the pandemic situation. Talk enables your workforce to connect for support or training. First, employees can share a live view of their workspace with an expert or coworker. The waste valve here. Now that that's closed, you can turn on your uh, surface wash valve, which is here. Okay, got it. Both people can draw on the world and work together as if they are together. And thanks to Vuforia augmented reality technology, your annotations stick exactly where they're drawn, even when you move around as you work. In fact, you can pause the live view to draw easy to follow multi-step instructions. With chalk, simple instructions help you solve complex problems quickly and effectively. Next, we will explain the concept of the AR work instructions. Unlike the AR remote assistance described earlier, the AR work instructions assists the workers on site to proceed independently. According to a predetermined scenario, necessary instructions for each work procedure are clearly displayed in real space with video, audio, and 3D animation, and the target area is intuitively indicated with arrows, etc. It also allows you to search for the appropriate page or contents digitally in the same way you would have done it in the past with a bulky paper manual. This can greatly improve the efficiency of the work process. In addition, as shown in the example in this video, by using voice input on wearable devices such as smart glasses and MR headsets, not only the employees can work while keeping their hands free, but also the amount of eye movement for checking procedures can be minimized, which eventually shortens work time and improves safety. Work is evolving. The new normal is more virtual than ever before. Demanding new methods of communication, instruction, and support for frontline workers. Augmented reality, AR, enables a better, faster, and more efficient means of transferring knowledge across the enterprise. Here are some common applications where AR work instructions can be applied. In cabling process, the visual representation of the internal cabling, uh, which is usually invisible to the naked eye, can be used to show the correct connection points and the wiring in a way that is easy to understand. In appearance and quality inspection work, we check uh, the position of spot welding points and efficiently check our shapes by superimposing them on the CAD model at the time of the design. In the inspection and maintenance work, it is possible to prevent inspection omissions by using computer graphics to color code inspection points and prevent inspection errors by using CG to change the color of completed inspection points, etc. In the case of bolt fastening work, it's uh, possible to reduce work errors by displaying the correct fastening sequence and the specified torque value. There are many other possible use cases for AR manuals. However, because of the freedom of spatial expression that isn't found uh, in paper manuals, if you proceed with contents development uh, based on uh, only on vague ideas, you may end up with something that looks flashy uh, and difficult to use. This is a very serious problem. You need to be aware of the key points of your applications or the use case in order to efficiently develop an AR working manual. There is a difference in uh, developing AR design for entertainment and for manufacturing. Now, Vaforia Chalk is an AR remote assistance tool by PTC to support workers in the field from remote locations via AR-based video calls. Cyber Systems Malaysia also offer other services such as contract development services to develop various custom AR applications according to customers' requests. Finally, we would like to show you some of the advanced effort to uh, combine AR with various other technologies. IoT aims to reform manufacturing technology through the use of information technology. 
By introducing IoT, which is starting to be utilized in a wide variety of fields in manufacturing sites, low-cost, high-quality manufacturing is becoming a reality. We support our customers to improve their productivity and quality through IoT technology. This video demonstrates how real-time information such as temperature sensors are mounted on motors and brakes can be displayed in AR on those devices in the real space through object recognition. The most important role of IoT in the industrial field, uh, data visualization, the combined use of AR technology will make it possible to intuitively grasp the right information at the right time, which will lead to improving the efficiency of daily inspection work and early detection of any signs of trouble that will help prevent your maintenance. This is a brief overview of a working digital twin model we have built. As I mentioned at the beginning, we will reply to all the questions after a webinar by email. If there's anyone who could not drop their questions in chat, please send an email to information at cybernet.asia. So with that, we have come to the end of today's webinar. I hope you found it interesting. If you need further information about these webinar topics and applications or demonstration about how PTC Vuforia can transform your business, please feel free to reach out to our team anytime. You can call us or send an email to information at cybernet.asia or send an inquiry using the web form on our website www.cybernet.asia. Thank you and stay safe.